Hey guys, I'm back. Um, it's the next day now, and as you can see, I broke the. Uh, they were just uh, uh, pinned on there, but took the legs off of it, and uh, going to go ahead and lay this out on here. But first, I need to do is uh, straighten up this edge. I moved uh, the jaw from the uh, fixed jaw to the back of the vise so that I could uh, hold the plate there. Um, so we'll uh, go ahead and mill that uh, edge off of there. Still in uh, camera there. There we go. I don't need the whole plate, I just want to come from this front edge. Let's see if I can get it. If I can, that'll work out nice. I can go ahead and uh, get the uh, plate mounted on there and then we'll uh, go on from there. I'll be back. Okay, I've uh, got the plate straight, uh, laid it out, and I've uh, I put a deadman here just for when I go to put the template on that it lines up square with the plate. And I've gone ahead and put the double stick tape on the uh, plate there. So now it's just a matter of just dropping it down onto it doesn't have to be exactly where I had it last time, as long as it's square to the end of the plate. And that's stuck good, because you got to take off the other side of the tape. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh, let me uh, peel the tape off, which is a bitch. Well, that's, that was good. Alright, be right back. Okay, take two. Uh, and you guys are out there laughing, maybe I can give you the old hello. Okay, and I hope you had a good laugh. It's my, my bad. This filming and uh, trying to do everything at the same time is challenging for me. Anyway, okay, got the wood template. I got my deadman there. Had some marks to kind of line it up on. And keeping it against the deadman. Get it to sit on the plate. And that... Uh, that should uh, do it well. See my bald head there, probably. A little springy here. Hmm. I think we're on there okay. Alright, time to uh, punch some holes. Be back with you. Okay, what I've done now is... Uh, I put a gauge pin in that uh, is the same as the number 10 drill and use that to uh, locate this hole. Uh, now I can go ahead, I had the dimensions three and a quarter to come this way and 8.750 to go that way and I can go ahead and punch uh, the actual bolt clearance holes um, for the uh, plate itself. And then I'll come over and pick up the actual holes here that I need to uh, drill and tap the plate for a quarter twenty. 
and then of course punch out the center hole also. Okay, uh, I'm not going to film it. It's pretty uh, obvious what I'm going to do, but uh, I'll go after it and then uh, see you at the router here shortly. Okay, um, here's the uh, the plate. I've gone ahead and uh, bandsawed it out, and it turns out that I, although I use the double stick tape, since I have the bolt holes to hold the uh, drawbar unit down on it, I can use those to hold the template on here. So I uh, roughed it out on the bandsaw, and uh, we'll go go at it with the router. leaving a little bit of a chewy finish but you just go back onto it and it's, uh, it's cleaning it up fine and just be a little puffy. to watch all of this so I'll be back. Well here's the plate. Uh, it's been through the uh, router, chamfered all the uh, holes, and uh, it's going to visit the glass beater right now. I ended up uh, using a roundover bit in the router also to uh, smooth all the edges on the plate. Alright so we'll uh, little visit with the glass beater here. nice uniform finish on it. Okay, clean it up and uh, time to mount it. Well, here's an update. It's mounted on top. I made the legs and it's working. So let me set up the camera and I'll give you a little shot. And uh, I just, I have a temporary setup in there for my uh, draw bar, uh, but it's working. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, give you a little shot here. You can see I have the airline up in there. It's a temporary for uh, powering it. But right now there's a piece in there, so out. It's out. In. Out. In. Ah, I'm loving it. 
Okay, put the cover on it. Um, I may paint that, that uh, plate black uh, so it matches the cover. I'll give you a shot with the cover on it. Well guys, it's finished. Um, the install works great. The uh, back gear lever works fine just because there's nothing dragging on it. You can see I can get a wrench in on the draw bar. And the air hose is coming out the back. And then like I had showed before, I've got the mounting here for the actual uh, control buttons. So I'm real happy with the install. Plate may get a painting. Uh, I got the draw bar in there and I'm going to make up a two-piece draw bar. That's going to be a project coming up. But for right now, it's a done deal. Uh, put the do-all to work. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the build. Thank you.